whenever I have stuff that's like on my desk and I don't want people to see it, I just put it behind where I'm gonna be sitting. And so you have no idea that there's a water bottle on my desk or a mouse or two design notepads because I'm a snitcher and that's just the way the world is. Hello humans! Recently I posted a photo on Instagram that I thought was pretty cute. It was a photo of four of my desk plants out on my deck while I was doing some typography homework. And my caption was something along the lines of like, How many desk plants can you carry before you drop one? Answer, five. Because while I was carrying my plants out there, I dropped one and it was really sad. This one to be exact. Some of his little leaves are cut off because the glass container that he was in smashed. And... Yeah. But how cute is the new container I got for him? Five dollars from Kmart. It's dishwasher safe too, so. Anyway, that whole scenario kind of got me thinking about when does too much of something become too much? Like where is, where is the line? And that's really my question for today and for myself that I've been thinking about is where is the line? And not just in desk plants, but like in so many things. In things like when you're buying clothes online and you end up with your entire order just being button up shirts. Like is that a problem because that was me literally last week and this is one of the new ones. Isn't it nice? It's long form and everything. Or like when does text someone multiple messages in a row become a problem and creepy and overwhelming for that person? Because you just don't know. Sometimes you just don't know. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, I think I figured it out, kind of the golden rule in graphic design is form follows function. So the way something looks is going to be determined by what it actually needs to do. And I think that that can also be applied not only to just building websites and logos, but also building choices. You know, form follows function. When is too many desk plants? One too many? When you're trying to carry five and you drop one. That's when it's too many. That's where the line is. Or how many messages is too many? Well, it's probably too many when you start to come across a bit off your brain. Or, you know, how many button-up shirts can you buy before it becomes too many button-up shirts? The answer, Never, you can never have too many button up shirts because you can just always, they're just good with everything and they're so comfortable and it's just like, mm. So yeah guys, that's all I have to say for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment and tell me um, how many plants you think you can carry. You know, let's have a competition going. I can carry five before I drop one. How many can you carry before you drop one? And they can be a varying size. As always, all my social media links are in the description. Some cool things are coming soon. Um, like maybe a new blog website. Hello, super keen. Not gonna say anymore, but keep an eye out for that one. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. If you're not, I hope it gets like a billion times better because I love you all so much and goodbye. I'm actually not wearing pants because I was like, well, I'm gonna be sitting down so no one's gonna see my non-pantsness. Um, and it's so comfortable. Like, I just never want to put pants on again. Why pants? Because social constructs and just general common sense.